I thought I'd do today is kind of a walk around and an in-depth talk on the skyline, kind of all the stuff we've done to it, where I got a lot of parts from, how we fitted them, so on and so forth. So we're going to jump straight in. Uh, I'm going to try and do it as systematically as possible. Start from the front to the back of the exterior, do the interior, and then we'll do the engine and what I've done to that. So let's get into it. So starting on the front, we're going to work our way back. Genuine GTR front bumper. Got it imported from Japan. There was two online, uh, one with a splitter, one without. I went for the one without. That was purposeful. When I always look at the GTRs and I kind of look at their body level, if you look at this, you can see that the side skirts and the front bumper, they kind of sit level. When you get a GTR splitter, that thing is like three or four inches. It makes the car look a little uneven. The front end ends up looking very low and I didn't really like that look. So I bought one without the front splitter on it and it was slightly cheaper. But yeah, I didn't put the GTR splitter on there. I'm tempted to maybe get a smaller carbon fiber splitter, but that's, uh, that's something I'll look at in the future. Also, genuine GTR bonnet and the bonnet hinges as well. I ended up getting the bonnet and the doors from the same guy who was wrecking a GTR. The reason I swapped my doors is because they're a little bit rotten and these were nice and clean. Headlights are Zenon, uh, they're standard, they come that way. The smoke indicators, I just bought them from eBay. Genuine Nissan GTR bars, I got it from Nissan. Bought it a few years ago, so it was cheaper than to get them for these days. The mesh behind it, you can see it's just cheap Halfords mesh. I also fitted that mesh down here in these slots. Okay, moving on to the front wings. What we did with these is a little bit different, is to get the GTR flare. Although we bought fiberglass front GTR wings, um, we weren't happy with the fitment of them. So if you look down at the engine bay, let's open this up. You've got this nice steel finish here on the wing. What we did to keep that was kept the steel wings. We cut the fiberglass arch we fitted that to the steel wing. And that gives us a nice finish on the interior of the wing, and it gives us a nice finish down the seams. The wing badges, believe it or not, these are actually GTR wing badges. They're a very slight difference. If you look at the wing badge on this, it's kind of a gunmetal gray finish. The wing badges on the GTT have got a silver finish. So these are actually GTR wing badges. You cannot feel this energy. energy. As for the wheels, what we've got is 19 by 9s on the front, but 19 by 10s on the rear, 255 tyres on the front, 265 tyres on the back end. As I was thinking to go down to 245s on the front to equal out the stretch, what I've ended up deciding to do is actually go up to 275s on the back. So if you look at the stretch here we've got on the tyre, I intend to try and get rid of that and make the back tyres look more like front tyres. So you've got a nice flush finish there on the front. That's what we're going to shoot for on the back end. GTR size goats, but they are fiberglass reps. Same with the rear quarters, they're just GTR over fenders. GTR filler cap, but again, it's just a fiberglass one that we, we made to fit. It was actually a fair amount of labour involved in that, getting that to, uh, to fit nice and to work as well as it does. For the front brakes, what I ended up doing was buying some larger vented and grooved front discs. I think these are 240 mil. I went and bought new four pot calipers because they'd all been uh, refreshed and rebuilt. I haven't, however, changed the back brakes so they're still standard units. Spin pot disc brake. Moving on to the back end of the car, this is, uh, this is most people's favourite normally. This, uh, that's actually a fiberglass GTR replica rear spoiler. I got it from the same place I got the rest of the body kit. The GTR badge on the back, you're getting that is a genuine R34 GTR badge. The spoiler again, this isn't genuine, this is a fiberglass replica with a carbon fiber wing on it. Looks good, looks genuine, but it's not, it's just a fiberglass one. And if you've seen the prices on the genuine GTR spoilers, then things are fetching four or five grand at the minute. It's pretty ridiculous. So for the price I paid for this, I'm pretty happy with it. Moving on to the interior now, it's a little bit messy because I've been driving the thing around all weekend, but uh, it's actually pretty standard. Yeah, I've got some GTR mats I got off eBay again. Sony head unit doubled in, standard GTC clocks, standard GTC gauges, standard GTC steering wheel. It's all pretty standard. When I bought the car, it wasn't standard. It had some Nismo parts in here, gear stick, and steering wheel that I wasn't a big fan of. 
and I ended up swapping it for kind of the interior. You can see though the seats on the back and the seats on the front. What I've done with them is just use some fabric dye and dyed them so now they're black instead of that kind of unattractive grey colour. Same with the headliner, so that's all black. I also sprayed the lights black, rear view mirror black. It all matches, it looks really nice in the actual all the black. And, uh, I'm happy. Ain't no, ain't no one like me. doesn't know the R34 GTT came with an RB25 that as opposed to a 26 but it's a Neo. Now the difference between the Neo and the older RB25 is the Neo had variable cam timing. It also had GTR internals or well GTR rods. The head came with bigger valves and a more aggressive cam profile. Now, I've heard some people say that the, the RB25 Neo is actually better to get big power out of than the RB26. I don't know how much truth is behind that, but apparently the head is very good on me. Modifications I've done to the engine, as you can see, I fit a front mount intercooler, and I've run both these pipes down the same size. Apexy filter there. There's a front mount intercooler, you can see it down there. You see the pipe that runs back. What we got for the exhaust system, if you can see down there, is I got a three inch down pipe, then these into a full four inch system. The system doesn't have a cat in it, but it does have a center box and quite a large back box. So it's not particularly loud, but obviously it sounds pretty good. Also what you can see here is the HS boost, boost controller that I fed for all the suspension on the car. On the front end I've got Nismo lower arms, Driftworks camber arms and BC racing coil levers. On the back standard lower arms with Driftworks camber arms and control arms, BC coil levers again. So I think that's about most of it. Uh, if you've got any questions just drop them in the comments and I'll try and answer them as best I can. Um, most of the work on the car I've done myself, the body work, obviously I couldn't do it, I'm not a body work man, all I can mess about, this is not my forte. But my brother's done all the body work and painted it. The mechanical work, for the most part, I carried up myself. That's what helps keep labour costs down and that's what helps keep builds like this, you know, realistic. A lot of parts I actually ended up picking up second hand and quite cheap, which again keeps costs down. The biggest cost for doing a car like this is, is buying the the genuine Nissan stuff, the genuine GTR stuff, you get hit with this huge GTR tax. Most of my stuff I bought a couple of years ago, so it wasn't too bad. But um, now, it, the prices have almost doubled for some of the parts I bought. And if I was to try and complete this build now, I don't know if I'd be able to afford to do it, at least not in the time frame that I did mine in. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lucky for when I bought the car and, and when I bought all the parts to convert the car. And, uh, and how long it's taken me to get completed. So I'm pretty happy with that. But anyway, like I said, any more questions on the build and what I've done to it, just uh, hit in the comments and, and let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I get back to you. Uh, thanks for watching, see you next time.